Welcome back to the channel. Dan with Mahal and Billiard Channel here, checking back in. I'm doing a follow-up video on the lights. Um, I've had a lot of questions recently about the lights, like how mine's still working, um, how high it should be, can it be hooked up to a dimmer switch, what's the warranty, um, things of that nature. So I'm going to go over that in this video. Um, now, I do, I am affiliated with this company, but I would not be pushing something that I didn't believe in. So if you use code Dan Mahal on a checkout, if you end up deciding to get one, helps me out a lot and saves you a couple bucks along the way. Now, I would not promote a product that I do not believe in. And why? Those cues right back there are cues that I just got done building. And I would not risk my reputation of pushing a product that I believe in over these lights whenever I'm trying to make a custom cue business. So anyway, let's get into the video and go over some of the stuff that I have been asked. Let's take a real quick peek at these cues that I just got finished though. Like, look at, look at these things. Reach out, let me know in the comments below if you wanna get a gorgeous, gorgeous custom cue made. Anyway, how high should the light be? I get that question a lot and it should be higher than your standard billiard light. Your standard billiard light from the bed of the table to the bottom of the shade or bottom of the cabinet that your light is in usually should be somewhere between 36 and 44 inches depending on your scenario. Um, now, however, on these lights, they should be higher. Uh, from the bed of the table to the bottom of the light should be 50 to 55 inches. And uh, that uh, really, really helps. As you can see, there's a couple balls on the table as well. Uh, not very, hardly any shadows and hardly any shadows anywhere to be to, to really speak of. And the cool thing is, this is only a seven foot version of the, our light over top of a nine foot pull table. And the reason that is, is because of this beam. I didn't want to go under the beam because that would drop my light down way under what they tell you it should be. So I went with the seven footer over top of a nine foot table and look at that. How good does that look for being only a seven foot light? All right, so one of the main questions about this light from my first video, uh, which you haven't seen, I'll link it at the end and it's in the description if you wanna check it out. It's a unboxing and installation review video of this light. But what a lot of people didn't like is these little seams where the light pops through and these wires sticking up. And you know, you can see there is spots where the light kind of comes through. It does not bother me at all. But let me show you what they did start including with these lights for this. And I'm gonna put some on right now and show you in this video. Like this would be a good crack to show you. I'm gonna do it on that. I'll show you the after any second. But however, what they started sending with these lights is this tape. And I'm not sure if they started sending it because of my video or not, but this tape is very thin and it almost, when it goes on, is very, very hard to see. And it works well for doing everything, hiding the wires, taping them down, uh, taping these seams. It's so thin and it, and it flushes up so well. It's very, very hard to see. So I'm gonna put some of that on right now and show you the after. Now, as you can see, I got that one covered. And it, actually that's just a little bit of dust and dirt. That'll, that'll clean right off. That's actually out of my toolbox. That'll wipe right off. And then if you push on it real hard, it'll, it'll go into all these seams and stuff. See that it's really thin and it's really dark black and it really blends in well and it really works good. What I do is, is I, I put a little bit on the table, pull it back and then I cut it with a brand new razor blade so you get a nice clean edge. And then you start that clean edge at the bottom and then it'll really fold up well. I'll do this one now and show you the after. All right, now there's the after. Look at how good that looks with that tape. So one of the bigger things that always got brought up in my other video is these seams that like I said, don't bother me, but they did make a fix for it. So look how good that looks. And I actually taped this down right there and it sticks really well. It really blends in well with the dark colored light. And uh, I'll end up today going around and doing all these, but that's just real quick. You know, that's how you fix those now that they gave you that tape. So that works really well. Okay, and one of the other questions is, is how is it wired? Right here is actually the end of your power wire. And I have it stretched pretty far and I'll show you why. You, you, you don't have to do this. If you have a different scenario than me, you can actually tape this down right here and you can, I've actually zip tied the black wire to this to make it look even cleaner than mine. Same thing with like my drop ceiling. I could spray that with a little bit of white, make it look a little bit better. But like I said, it does not bother me. When the other lights are off in this room, you don't see any of that stuff. But see, the reason I have it stretched so tight over there is it's barely making it to the way that I have it dropped down out and I have it plugged in. This is a longer cord. It's pretty long, but it just, I don't have, cause this is a block wall. I don't have an outlet anywhere over here to get to. So here, I'll show you what I did. So I got a good uh, 
extension cord. This is a real thick, good extension cord from Harbor Freight. I just did it because it's not that much more money and it makes sure that you're getting as much current to the light as possible. Then what I did to make sure that this is on a switch and it protects the light. So this protects the light and it's nice because it's on an on off switch. So you can see, don't mind my mess, but it's nice because it's on a switch. So that's how I have mine wired. You can hardwire it. Now, the one thing that comes up a lot is, are these dimmable or can you put it on a dimmer switch? Okay, so the bad news is these ones are not able to go on a dimmer switch. However, at the end of August or mid-September, they're coming out with version two that is a little bit more money, but it will be uh, wired for dimmable. So that is coming out as well. Um, the other question that I get is the warranty situation. Now they come with a full one year warranty. Anything breaks, it gets fixed for free. Uh, anything after that, they will sell you parts. So like these are a six part light. If this LED has an issue or this wire has an issue, anything happens on this particular piece, the part of the light is numbered at the top. So then you just tell them which number went out, what size you have, and they'll send you that piece. I think it's probably around like 60 bucks, something like that. So you do end up having an issue with one part of your light. You, it, down the road, it's not a big deal. You just buy that part. Uh, but anyway, if you have any other questions about this light, uh, please just let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but yeah, Dan with Mulholland Builder channel out. Use my code at checkout. Catch you on the next one.